Good afternoon, everyone. Trapped in thick Arctic ice, Canadian fishermen demanding payments because they can't go out and they're crabbing grounds. Too much ice. A quick look around Twilling Gate. Massive icebergs rolling up there as well on their shores. Flipping to Antarctic, the gales have created dragon skin ice. And a new article out in The Guardian, Earth's oceans are warming 13% faster than thought and accelerating. But a look at North Atlantic temperatures, South Atlantic, the upwelling they're talking about from 700 meters. Oh wait, that's cool water rising to the surface. And please join me for episode number 21 on Mini Ice Age Conversations, where I talk about the U.S. wheat losses and also the decimation of the vegetable and fruit crop across Europe. And while you're watching the video, please press that subscribe button for ADAPT 2030. And beginning today's video, SOT.net. You're going to want to stop there. They have a full rundown on earth changes. News feed, cold weather keeping birds from nesting in Finland. April in Finland, colder than normal. They just had excessive snows up there. Highly unusual snows in Finland. And then the U.S. Northeast, also snow again. And then snowfall in Kiev. Oh no, the world's warming. Don't worry about it. Back to sleep. Now an interesting one coming off Global Warming Policy Forum. Crab fishermen trapped in thick Arctic ice. This was... Two weeks ago, now they're calling for compensation because they couldn't get out to the fishing grounds close up here for you. It was described as miles and miles and miles of ice piling up. Fishermen calling it heavier than usual and the food and fish allied workers are saying that it's unusual as well, the amount of ice build up. So where is Twilling Gate? It's up in Newfoundland. Closer in for you here. It's up near Gander. Remember St. John's from a couple years ago? All-time record snows. Charlottetown, all-time record snows. This area is actually one of those seed points that looks like it's pointing toward extreme cooling. Twilling Gate. Quick Google search shows you that icebergs are floating ashore there as well. I've done several videos on the amount of icebergs diverting traffic across the Atlantic. Here we go. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I would love to get up there and visit this. Uh, this is a couple weeks after some of the ice had blown out. So the current conditions... Iceberg watching, that'd be a great place for a picnic. Now jumping down to Antarctica, dragon skin ice has been discovered by scientists. When gale force winds push ice formation up, it keeps refreezing and refreezing. Close up here for you, University of Tasmania research on this one. We've seen some stuff like this in the Great Lakes of the United States a couple of years ago. They called it ice pancakes. But this is a large amount of those same ice pancakes just piled on top of each other. Jumping over to the Guardian, Earth's oceans are warming 13% faster than thought. Ugh, pay your global warming consumption tax and these humans will fix the ocean warming problem. Argo float system, what they do is they deploy these floats. They descend to about 2,000 meters and then they drift back up to the surface taking measurements throughout the entire water column. They're trying to massage the data and say, well, since the late 1950s, the rate of global warming has changed significantly over the past 60 years. And now the oceans, we're sure, 100% sure that it's warming 13% faster. So I just dug into Climate for You. I linked that below as well. I hope you do your own research on this. North Atlantic, that's an upwelling from 800 meters depth up to the surface. And you can understand why these icebergs are staying around longer. Cool, cool water from 800 meters reaching the surface. Also, North Atlantic temperatures going back to 1979. I really don't see it outside of its phase there. Okay, how about all these different points up in the Arctic? Do you see a 13% rise in temperatures through there? You're going to have to pause the screen. I'm going to continue on here. South Atlantic. Oh, that's right in the same range it's always been. Let's look at the Antarctic temperatures, taking it 10 different locations across Antarctic waters. Okay, how about the equator? You think it's rising there too? 13% warmer than average on the equator? Well, it looks like a number of those are in decline. These are all the world's average temperatures stacked on top of each other. I'll let you decide, is it 13% warmer than usual? 
I'll let you do your own research on that. All the links are below. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. Now CO2 is blamed for warming the oceans at 700 meters depth. That is 2,100 feet deep into the water. Are you kidding me? A trace gas, three one hundredths of our atmosphere, is descending to 2,100 feet under the entire bevy of Earth's oceans and heating it from below now? That is just truly impossible to believe. That is a hoodwink scandal, straight up. I want you to do your own research. Please try to debunk this information that I've just given you. Start with climate for you, work through all the data sets, and see what you come up with. Please jump over to Trade Genius, talk to Bob Kudla. He's trading on the grand solar minimum, and we expect these losses to intensify from this year forward. The wide out on the hemispheric rotations of the sun is going to split drastically in 2018 and 19. All of these lead to one thing, higher food prices.